Hey everyone, Trevor at Top Loaded Gaming here. This is in response to Rev's video, Am I a Loser for Playing Video Games? This is a topic I myself have been thinking a lot about lately, so I thought I would discuss it. I'm 34. I started playing video games when I was about 4 or 5 years old, uh, roughly about 86 or 87. I got a Nintendo for Christmas. One of the games I got, in addition to Super Mario Bros., of course, was Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I was obsessed with Punch-Out. My dad would even play with me back in the 80s. My friends, my neighbors, shit, everyone around me had Nintendos. It was definitely a fun time to be a kid. Now you're playing with power. Now, as I got older, I started playing guitar. Now, Rich at Review Tech USA says that when he got into music, he put his games into the closet. I never did. My guitar was my new thing for a long time, yes, but I still played my games. That is, whenever I wasn't trying to be Metallica's Kirk Hammett. You know, I remember a time in the fifth grade where I wanted Jabo jeans because everyone thought they were cool, so I got some. A couple years later in the seventh grade, I was out of school for about the first quarter of the year, and I was finally coming back. So out of excitement, I called my friend to tell him. And he had this attitude like, that's cool, dude, but man, it's, it's rough over here. And then he said, make sure you get these uh, certain brand of clothes so you can fit in with us. And he listed off things like Massimo and Tommy Hilfiger, shit like that. And I stayed stupid. I couldn't believe it. But even though I was pissed off that I had to make sure my parents spent money out the ass for clothes, I asked them to do it anyways, you know, so I could fit in with these people I've already been friends with for years. But even though I saw people starting these stupid cliques, it never once occurred to me that I shouldn't play games if I wanted to fit in. Somehow I always just viewed video games as cool. It seems like you are most concerned with what your son will think of you. To that I say, I think the reason I never considered games were for losers is because two reasons. One reason, when the Mortal Kombat games came out, a lot of parents didn't let kids get them or play them. It's called Mortal Kombat. We're going to talk to Aaron Brandis here about the game. You can rip off his head or something like that. Sounds like a pretty thrilling game, and this is the kind of violence that critics are pretty worried about. So if you had Mortal Kombat or Mortal Kombat 2 in that time period, you were cool. I mean, by the time Mortal Kombat 3 came out, I think parents were pretty much over it and let kids play it. Probably because me and my friends were all older at that point but if you did have Mortal Kombat 1 and 2 when they first released you were a badass and while I had to wait until I was 13 to get the first Mortal Kombat I had Mortal Kombat 2 when it first came out now the main reason I think I always viewed games as cool and this is crucial in my response to you is because my dad played punch out with me as a kid you know, this video made me think so much about things I haven't thought about since I was a teenager. And I gotta say, thanks for making this video. Really. You know, when you're a teen, it's the most drama-filled part of your life. That is until you get a teenage daughter. Fucking buckle up, man, because it's a bumpy ride. But the last time I thought of my dad and what he's done for me years ago... I felt like, oh, my dad is this piece of shit that never did shit with me, and that was my opinion of him. But my dad played video games with me. He also played the guitar, and as soon as I thought guitar and music in general was cool, I wanted to play guitar. So I got a guitar for Christmas, and my dad showed me the ropes. And he constantly wanted to play music with me throughout my life. Even though at every turn... I, I acted like a stuck-up prick who was too cool to play with him. He still wanted to play music with me. And yeah, maybe the reason I never got into fishing was because he only took me a handful of times. But fuck, man. My dad was a welder. He busted his ass in the hot Louisiana sun constantly. And despite busting his ass, he still found time to occasionally take me fishing. He coached me a year after year for nearly a decade playing basketball. Man... What I wouldn't give to experience playing Punch-Out with my dad as a kid again. I would give just about anything. 
These memories of playing punch out with my dad are cherished thoughts of mine that I think about often. And that's why I think your kid will cherish you. Not because of what you do, because you are his dad and you are there for him. Period. As far as men and how they conduct themselves go, let's try and break it down. I'm from Louisiana. Over here you have like the hunting, outdoorsy type and the sports type. Sometimes they mix. Is there a difference between someone that plays fantasy football and someone that plays video games? Isn't it all make-believe? Is bragging that your team won, isn't, isn't that a bit dumb when the fan hasn't done shit to contribute to that win? Is there a difference between someone playing games and someone that spends thousands upon thousands of dollars for guns, scopes, hunting apparel, and it's gotta be the name brand shit you can't get it for, from Walmart for a fraction of the price. No, it's got to be the fucking brand, uh, brand name. All the fishing lures, and let's not forget about taking a loan out for that fucking boat. If there is one difference between me and that type of person, I see it as I am not paying off a $20,000 boat loan for my hobby. I am paying off a vehicle, however, to get back and forth to work. Not that it makes any real difference either. People do what makes them happy. I feel like you need you need to find a way to reconcile this and I think the way to do that is by acknowledging what the real problem is. What are you leaving behind? I think that what you are leaving behind is cherished memories that your kids will have of you. And that is what in my book makes it okay what i want to know from you is where do you stand on this topic are video game enthusiasts and collectors just you know man babies that are wasting their time not real men degenerates this is trevor over at top loaded gaming saying facing your own mortality sucks